welcome. I'm so glad you guys are here. We have a phenomenal video today. It's going to be so much fun <laughs> because I'm going to be answering all of your beautiful questions. Thank you so much you guys sent in such wonderful, wonderful questions. I can't wait to answer them. So what are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and get started. Come on. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Elizabeth. You are such an inspiration. I wonder what inspires you. My beloved, all of you inspire me. Each and every one of you with your courage, your willingness to change and grow and be the best version of yourself. You all are amazing. And you guys know how much I love you. You also inspire me by the way you leave such beautiful and supportive messages. Not only for me, but for everyone else on this channel, making this such a beautiful community and I am so inspired by all of that. So, in a nutshell, you all inspire me. Hi, Dr. Elizabeth. Um, do you have any biological children? How can you stay fit and healthy after being pregnant? Hey, my beloveds. So many of you ask me if I have any biological children. The answer is no, I do not have any biological children. No babies have come out of this body this lifetime. However, as you know, I love each and every one of you. In fact, my gorgeous girlfriend here, Siliana, I've adopted her. You're 31, right? Yes, that's right. And she's, she's my baby. All of you are my babies. So, but I wanted to bring Siliana onto my channel with you guys today because she's a mommy. Not only does she have a child, uh, not only is she a fitness model, she actually runs her own company full time. And here's the most inspiring thing, my beloved. Siliana actually got into great shape after you gave birth, isn't that correct? Yes, that's right. I did my first fitness competition when my son was 13 months old and so I used him as my motivation, my inspiration to be better and just be healthy for my son and it was great having him as my little cheerleader at my show. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing your story with everybody. Thank I you. know that they loved hearing that. So my beloveds, remember. No matter what the circumstances, no matter what your age, no matter whether you have children, no matter whether you have injuries, no matter what, we can all do our part to get in the best shape possible for us by eating healthy, by exercising, and by having a proper and really life enhancing mindset. Great. Thank you for Thank being you. here. I love you. So how do we say I love you in Bulgarian? Obichente. Obichente. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Elizabeth. This is Veronique from the Netherlands. We had a wonderful summer, very tropical, and it was easy to be long. Now we're moving towards fall and winter, and it's going to be dark, gray, windy, rainy, and miserable. How do I stay raw under those conditions when all I want is pumpkin soup and bean stew? This is such a wonderful question. I get asked this all the time. So here's the thing, my beloved. Even though it's winter time and it's cold, we can still have raw vegan food that is hot, heated to 118 degrees, and still raw vegan. Our bodies can't even go into a jacuzzi that's hotter than, let's say, 105 degrees. So, 105 to 118, that's not warm, that's hot. That's food that's hot enough to satisfy us on the coldest winter months. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious, hot raw vegan soup for the winter time. Come on, let's get started. The beauty of a high speed blender such as my Blendtec is that it has the capacity of heating food up naturally without destroying any of the precious nutrients. This soup right here is hot and yet it hasn't been heated to over 118 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, it's still considered raw vegan. If you don't have a Blendtec, it's okay, my beloved. It's super easy and convenient if you do, but if you don't, don't worry about it. You can use a traditional stove, just take a pan, put it on a low setting, and you use a food thermometer. In fact, I'm gonna try to put a link in the description box to my Amazon page where you can find a food thermometer. They're very inexpensive, and what you do is you just keep, you put it on the stove, you keep stirring and you keep an eye on it and just make sure it doesn't go above 118 degrees. Voila! Hot, heated soup in the middle of winter time that's still raw vegan. Brilliant! <laughs> bon appétit! Hi Dr. Elizabeth. 
Can you please give some tips please on how to stay raw during the winter months and um, how to also stay motivated to exercise during that time as well? Thank you. I got my little vegan friendly fake fur on. It is freezing cold. But no matter how cold it is, my beloved, I want you guys to get your booties out of bed and into the gym. I don't care how cold or dark it is. If you know your why, why you want to get good health, why you want to get in great shape, why you want to come to the gym, if that's strong enough, it will carry your butt to the gym and get you going. And once you're here, the endorphins kick in and they're going to feel like a million bucks. Trust me. And if you're really cold, do yourself a huge favor and hop on a cardiovascular machine and crank up the power. After just a couple minutes of high speed cardio exercise, you will be completely warmed up and your body will be flooded with feel good endorphins. Hello, Dr. Elizabeth. Can you talk about tooth decay on the raw vegan diet and what you do to prevent tooth decay? My beloved, this is such a great question, especially because I'm a dentist. So there's no problem with eating fruits, vegetables, seeds, and nuts. Not only are they great for us, they absolutely positively do not cause dental caries or periodontal disease any more than any other foods. In fact, these are phenomenal foods for our body. The key is you have to have great oral care. You have to brush your teeth after every meal. You have to floss your teeth at least once a day. If you're taking great care of your teeth and you're eating a vegan, plant-based, and raw vegan diet, there's absolutely no problems at all. I promise. As Dr. Elizabeth, dentist. So my beloved, that was our last question for today. So I will see you next week. Please continue to send me your questions via video. You can DM me at Instagram. I'll put my little Instagram someplace right here. And until next week, you guys know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, and also, what else? You know, I love you to infinity and back. I love you so much. I appreciate you. And I'm just thinking about you. Oh, by the way, you.